Hey guys, what's going on? Chris Ryan B here, and I know that I said that I was pretty much done with sneakers, but there's this one sneaker that I pretty much have wanted for a while. Uh, I went to Glendale yesterday, uh, decided to go through the Americana, which is like the Grove in Glendale. It looks like kind of the same, and uh, definitely the same vibe, but I prefer the Americana better. Um, decided to go by J. Crew and see if they had these pair of sneakers. Uh, at their store. I knew it was a long shot, but they did have them. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, here we go. We have the sneakers over here. We have this red Nike sportswear box. It's not the old brown one. It's got a little bit damaged in here, but that's okay. I don't really mind. And then let's go look at the sticker label. We have the Nike Kill Shot 2s in leather. These are the J. Crew versions. A great sneaker. Apparently, from what I've heard on male fashion advice, if you're on Reddit, is that they're being discontinued, and I was just like, oh, I should probably get this pair. And to be honest, I've wanted this pair for a while, and I finally was like, they have it in stock at this J. Crew, I'll just grab it. Regardless if it's a 9.5 or if it's a 10.5, I'll grab it. So I did grab the 10.5. It's a little bit big, but I have the kill shot ones and I went with a 9.5. It's a little bit too snug because my right foot's a little bit wider for some reason. And uh, yeah, so I just decided, oh, whatever. It, and it feels a little bit loose, so there you go. And I did grab them, of course, from J. Crew, and I grabbed them for retail. On Grail, they're asking for like 150 and I know that's not like for what they're selling for, but for what it is, it's been dis discontinued for like about a month. and. It's already doubled in value, so that's pretty good. Um, I have the receipt over here in my pocket. I grabbed them at J. Crew. Let's see if I can get that even on focus. Yeah, it's pretty on focus there. So J. Crew, Kill Shot 2 for $70, and then plus $6 in taxes. And there you go. Um, here we go. Let's get these sneakers out of the box. I've been rambling on too much. And I absolutely love these. And I can see why everyone on Reddit is like, freaking out and everyone on reddit has a pair of these because these are absolutely beautiful and it's funny because I went to Barney's my first time at Barney's in uh, any store really any Barney's store went to the one in Glendale and uh, I saw the Margiela Gats and I was like Ooh, they're no wonder they're really nice and uh, these are a great alternative if you, if you don't want to spend the extra money on them if you can get these at retail because these are definitely worth $70 and in my opinion this is more worth it than Roshi runs and this is pretty much why I rather have these than Roshis is because the upper. The upper is just like leather, completely leather. I, it's kind of like a worn leather too, so it's not like a pristine like Jordan leather, let's just say that. So we have an all white leather up here. We do have a Midnight Navy swoosh over here. Um, I forgot to say the color, so sail, Midnight Navy, gum, yellow. So there you go. It's very uh, simple with three, three colors. Uh, also up ahead, we have the suede with the uh, laces right here on the upper. It includes on the tongue, and then around the toe box, we also have suede over here. Very nice. I'm going to have to like do a suede protection on this. On the back, we have like a vintage Nike logo with that Midnight Navy, which isn't too bad. And it is faded, so it's not supposed to be perfect. And I believe it's the same thing on that one, of course. And also on the heel, we have that suede. And it's just, it's really nice. It's not bad for suede, for $70 suede. But um, is it this pair? Oh, I think it's on this pair. There's a lot of like, just threads coming off and there's some, some glue. And I'm just like, eh, it's fine, whatever. I'm not, not entirely mad about that, so. And then on the tongue, just like on the original Nike Kill Shots, we just have on this one, just Nike and a huge swoosh on it. And uh, just a really plush tongue, not too bad. And then on the bottom, that gum sole, which everyone is loving. So alternatively, you can get the, the Margiela Gats or you can get the Sambas. I've seen people talk on Reddit about those as well. Pretty good. Uh, you can customize your own Sambas to get the white upper and uh, the gum sole. I really do like that gum sole on it. And inside, we got the shoe tree, the cardboard shoe tree, and a Nike swoosh with a ten and a half. And there is the label, if you guys can see it right there. So with that being said, I think it's time to put these on foot and give you guys a little bit of look on shorts. Um, I think I'm gonna do chinos as well as denim. So let's get to it. All right, here we go, guys. Sorry if it gets a little bit too loud. They are having a lot of fun at that soccer match. Here we go. 
These are the Nike Kill Shot 2s, um, just with really low pro profile ankle socks and shorts. I don't know if I'm going to actually do denim or jeans, but, um, and chinos, but it's really hot today. And I'm wearing this brand, so I might switch up. There we go. The socks you can actually grab from Uniqlo. They're relatively cheap. They're about four f or three for $12.90, and I grabbed these in the Philippines. But you can also grab them here in America as well. So It's a really classy shoe. And let's go into chinos now. Alright guys, these are the chinos. These are Levi's 514 chinos. Um, the taper now sucks. It usually didn't suck this much before. I don't know what it is, but I'll probably get them tailored and whatever just to fix them because I have like massive calves and uh, it usually doesn't work out with me for uh, tapered you know pant legs so there we go doesn't look too bad on these ones but uh, definitely go to for my jeans and there we go guys all right so here it is with denim I apologize if they're not raw denim and that they're not really tapered that well. I've worn these jeans a lot this week, so there you go. I decided to uh, fold it up for you guys. Let me pull up my pants a bit. Yeah. There we go. It's really clean again. I really do go with anything and everything that you throw at it, except joggers. That is primarily why I bought these, because I want shoes that you don't have to wear joggers for every single time you want to wear a sneaker. So. And there we go.